Greetings everyone, this is Liminality Carb, and it's time for us to explore past the Scorchlands. And as we head over this way, we start to hear some noises that I don't like. I'm not a fan of bugs, and uh, as you can probably surmise, yeah, we've got bugs. Well, did you know, we're now going to become Starship Troopers. Thankfully, uh, Spear Bomb makes short work of these bugs, as will the Cobalt Blaster. So, you've got yourself some good, uh, tools with which to use, unless they're, you know, on the ceiling, or you're not paying attention and you're not ready for them. But welcome to Mall Caverns. This is basically a cavern full of bugs and all their nests. However, as you see here, you can go ahead and just toss a bomb into their nests and you get rid of them. That can be very useful and in fact we will need to do that for some things as we continue onwards. However, our first goal is going to be to head up here because yeah, we have a nest in the way if we want to go to the left. And this mushroom is a little annoying, but jump from that side of the left and we can get up here no problem. Also, be careful, there are just tiny spikes everywhere. Also, you can blow up all these nests, and some of them have, as you saw, some ghoul golems in them, but others will have rin or mushrooms. The mushrooms can be very useful if you are low on health items. As, really? I dash jumped into that thing twice. Anyway, the mushrooms can be very useful, as I was saying, if you're low on health, like I am about to be. However, one thing to note is there's actually multiple types of mushrooms. The odd mushrooms will heal a random amount of health, and that random amount can be up to 20, or it can possibly damage you instead. So, yeah. Also, crystal, we can't throw spears into the crystal, so we need to head down here. All that was just to get on the other side of here. But throw a bomb in, and now we've got a quick path for the future. Our next stop is actually trying to go the way I was doing at first of we want to head up and to the right. That spear was not needed, but you know what? Who cares? Now, you're supposed to technically go down the lower path, but if you just pick up a bomb and jump right as soon as you land on that curve, you can make it no problem. Sort of like what I did in White Towers for one of those energy gems. But head on up and make sure you pay attention to your uh, energy bar. You're, use you're going to be using your spear and all sorts of things a ton while you go through here. So, yeah, be ready to run out of energy when you're not expecting it. But we're going to blast these up. Mushrooms, they just heal a flat amount, as opposed to the odd shrooms. Come on. Oh, nothing in that one. Oh, well. So it's it's RNG if there's going to be anything in any of these. Also, if you notice, one of those is glowing, but don't get it yet. Because Bart has some words of wisdom for us first. Whoa, look at that. Sh look at this shit. It likely dates back to the time of the Great War. The ancients created some really impressive stuff back in the day. When my ancestors left for the stars and became Stellanites, they couldn't take everything. So some creations here are as, are as foreign to me as they are to you. Maybe there's something in this ship we can use? Scale, scale agrees. Uh, though, eek! Bart Ryan, and uh, we're going to be eaten by a giant spider. I hope everyone likes giant spiders, because I sure don't. And alas, Gale is trapped, lost forever. This is the end of Fina. Oh, wait, here comes Bart to save us. Gale, are you all right? Hang on, I'll bust you out of there. Uses his little repulsor jet to break us out. Sorry for running out on you earlier. I completely forgot that I was piloting an Avatar robot. No harm can actually befall me. Now you know about my one weakness. Bugs. So, how do you feel? You know what? I feel alright. 
I'm impressed you're still alive. Those fangs have got to be venomous. Gail nods in agreement. I think this is the colony's food storage. It gives me the creeps. Before we hustle out of here, I do have some good news. While the bugs were distracted, I searched the ship, and I found these rocket boots. They're a bit old, but not too different from the design my people still use. Try them on! And we get the rocket boots! Gail can now hover horizontally in the air. Press and hold the jump button while in midair to activate the rocket boots. The initial fiery burst that erupts will also toast enemies. You can also press L2 while hovering to reactivate the, th the thrusters, potentially toasting them twice, or 72 times if you hit it that often. Let's hope we don't run into that thing again. Well, Bart, uh, we're probably going to run into it again. Also, yeah, as it said, you can use the rocket boost to damage enemies or damage other damageables. The rocket boots are that last movement ability I was talking about while we were going through the Scorchlands. Now then, our next thing is head over this way, because we need to have this mole mine work for us for a change. As you see, it can go in there, which we wouldn't be able to th have thrown a bomb over there, unfortunately. Now, let's blow this up, and then deal with the aftermath of all these bugs. It also clears the path of that, which is... Something else we need. Ooh, actually, I'm not done yet. There's a few more things to blow up. We need to clear a path so that... Well, I might need to throw a few of them down here. We need to clear a path so that the mole mine can get all the way into that bottom nest, just like it did for us up here. We can't throw a bomb in there. However, thankfully, this mole mine doesn't actually chase us. It just... Ooh, nice. It just keeps on going to the left, and it keeps respawning. So you can just keep on spawning them, and as long as it makes its way all the way over here, which it sounds like the last one might have, yes, it did. There we go. Blow that bug up for me, and we got ourselves an energy gem. Maximum energy has increased. Unfortunately, because I have the spear equipped, I couldn't... Or, spear... Because I had the other thing, the crossbow equipped, I couldn't swap. But with that, we can head on out of here and go back to the food stores because there's actually two things over there that we want. Well, potentially three, depending on how things have been going for you. First, uh, uh, as a note, you can break all these open and get some more mushrooms. But more importantly, we have ourselves a save point. I really recommend making a safety save here because uh, these bugs are annoying. We also have a campfire that we can now ignite with our boots. And just to show it off, odd mushroom. You eat it, and sometimes you can get really damaged. However, if you go ahead and cook it, instead of being an RNG chance of healing you or hurting you, it now will just heal you for, I believe it's 14 for 12 uh, HP flat. You can also cook the other mushrooms, and I'm actually going to go ahead and do that, so I'll be right back. With all that cooking out of the way, we now head over here, and if you see, we've got glowing right there with a moonstone. So yeah, yay moonstones. Next, let's blow this up, seed onwards, and get another jellyfish tentacle. So those can be cooked into an item that I think their only purpose is selling, but I'm not positive. I actually need to double check that. Anyway, let's head on out. And by out, I actually mean down here to over here. Because we want to blow this one up. Blow this up and fall down the hole because it was hiding something from us. Go ahead and deal with these bugs as however you see fit. I personally prefer the Cobalt Blaster because that is just faster. Yes, there is the danger that you might injure yourself with the blaster, but like, honestly, it just feels so satisfying to use it. But as you saw, add on all the way over and we get ourselves a Moonstone. Now let's get out of this, uh, this pit, I should say. 
and we need to go back to the uh, first room of Mole Caverns, which we can get to as soon as I get energy back. Uh, not enough. This should be enough. There we go. Anyway, we can get to by just heading over to the out to the left. Head on over, and we are now <laughs> basically right at the first room. Over to the left is the shortcut that we made, but we actually want to climb on up here because now that we have, ow, our trusty boots, we can climb up this way and wait for some stamina because on the other side of this uh, pit is a red gem. We can't put anything into it, but we can certainly use it to land on. And as you see, by jumping up here, the camera pans up to tell you, yeah, you actually do want to be up here for something. We are hiding something. So just fly on over. And now, and go ahead and get ourselves. There we go. Up to here. So we're going to want to get some stamina back, hopefully soon. Come on, stamina. Again, the troll guard is very nice because... Just duck down when you can safely stand around for stamina, and you recover it faster. But now we have a bunch of rolling bugs. If you've ever played classic Donkey Kong, like the original arcade Donkey Kong from like the 80s, maybe 70s? I don't remember. But if you ever played it, this should feel very familiar. This is basically you dodging all of the barrels from that. Also, you want to hit as few of these bugs as possible because every one that you hit is going to actually remain and that bomb is giving me a problem. And as you see with this one, it's going to come on back and be a problem. However, once we kill this guy, we'll grab this heart rupee and get ourselves a free heal. Also, don't forget, if you are low on health, we did pick up the Prelude of Pancella, which will heal 99 health. It just only works once every 20 minutes. So you have to be a little smarter when you use it, but you can also use it far more liberally than I have been using it. Now then, our next stop is going back to where we encountered that giant spider. Because uh, that room has changed now. So let's head on up, just like we did before. However, we can now do this the way the game actually intended, which was that right there. The way it intends you to get over that way is a shortcut once you have acquired those boots. Now then, head on up. And as you can hear, we've got bugs out here now as well. However, they're new types. They're explosive. And they can chain and they shoot acid out at you when they explode. They also will only explode if they actually think they're going to hit you. As I will show with this one. As you see, it looks like it tries to explode. But it actually stops its explosive paradigm. Oh, anyway. Uh, let's deal with these first. Two crossbow bolts. They are very fast and will chase you down hard. But yeah, uh... Those exploding ones, if they don't think they can hit you, they will stop trying. I have missed that glowy thing twice now. There we go. Now we got it. Well, that bit of Rin's going nowhere. But as you see, it had 25 Rin in it. Not a ton, but ow. But it can help. Now, to actually get to where we want, we need to take care of these two. And... We need to fly and hope we've got enough stamina. Just barely. So you may not have noticed it there, but once you start running out of stamina with the hover boots, you just start sort of trailing downwards. Now, I'm going to get this honey brew ready, and you probably know what that means. We've got a boss fight. We are going to get fight with this arachnid. Unfortunately, it's going to turn around like that, so let's actually put the honey brew on now while I can. And you're going to have little ones to deal with as well as the big one. The big one can only get hurt from the back, 
And we did hear its name before. It's like, uh, Spider Queen Otterine or something like- Oh, jeez. Ow, ow, ow. I hate it when it does this. So, yeah. When it goes ahead and does that, uh, you kind of have to jump up and try to fly above it. Otherwise, you're going to get hit for a lot of damage. However, thankfully, once it comes down, it's not too much of a problem. The little ones are, but it's not as much. There we go. Escape vines with jelly. Oh, that's what the jellyfish oil does. Okay. So, if you uh, cook the jellyfish tentacles, you get something called jellyfish oil. Just having it in your inventory lets you escape bind attacks, which is honestly very nice. Well, I didn't do this correctly. So as a note, what you can do is you can actually hit these explosive ones and have it run into this spider. If you get it enough, you actually will get a good chance to do damage to her while she's on the ground without needing to worry about anything else. There we go. Yep, just go over there. Let me deal with these little ones because they are a pain. You can also shoot her with the uh, Cobalt Blaster, as you see, but it really doesn't do that much. Oh, well, I'm going to hit with this. Oh, great, I'm out of oil. I'm going to hit again. All right. Uh, Cobalt Blaster, we need to get rid of some of you, and I need to equip this soup. We need health. Oh, great, there's some of you over there. All right, let's see if we can get this this time. There we go. As you see, you hit it, get stunned, and then you can go ahead and wail. And with that, we have killed the spider boss. Adrian, or something like that. But our prize for destroying this optional boss is a heart rupee. And yes, that was an optional boss, just like the rock toad from earlier in Anuri Temple. You never have to fight that boss. If you come back here, if you come back through Mall Caverns later, that boss will have respawned and, uh, yeah, you'd have to fight it again. Ow. Also, uh, be careful as you fall down there. As you saw, lots of spikes. In fact, there's going to be even more spikes as we continue falling. So, get ready to activate your boots. Ow. Almost. Almost. So your boots are not perfect. There is a little bit of a... What's the word I'm looking for? Inertia. There's a tiny bit of inertia. Also, uh, you can probably hear it down there. We've got ourselves a uh, dragon snare that we got to deal with. But it's actually going to help us out in a bit. But here, put a... As you saw there, put a spear there. Hit a... Out. No, 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 no. There we go. Finally got it. Anyway, put a spear there, hit a bomb up into it, and you're good. This, we also need to feed this dragon snare. Because as you see, each time it gets fed, it rotates that thing once. So we need a bug to come and cooperate for us. There we go. Thankfully, if you just hit it once it's about there, well, where I hit that one, you can go ahead and... Really? There we go. You can end up getting it free, as I was trying to say. Now, if you need some jellyfish tentacles, this is probably going to be a good area to do it. Because you can get them as you just fall down if you're good with your rocket boots, unlike me. But head on down here, and we're going to head over to the left after I get another jellyfish tentacle. Nice. If you need one of those amber fish, you can also fish them right here. There will be another area later, but thankfully this isn't an area with any fishing things. Or at least, no special gems for fishing, I should say. Instead, we want to keep on heading over this way, and I probably should be swimming fast for this. Uh, I didn't point it out, we actually went right past the moonstone. So we will get that in a second, but we also want this golden drag scale. You may have gotten one from a Nuri temple if you were fishing underneath the temple, 
but I've held off on getting that for a reason, because we would have had to keep it in our inventory for so long. But float up to that flower right below me, drop on down, and get her yourself a moonstone. Now we need to head on all the way to the right side, because over on the right is a, uh, is a thing. Uh, yeah, basically, we've got one more thing to get down here. We got a moonstone, and there will be something all the way on the right. But to get to the right, you need to throw a spear from here, and then hover on over to it. Because we need to actually dive deep into the water to get to it. And this is the easiest way, because dive down, get around that little point, and head on up to this side. Thankfully, getting around it will be a lot easier when we're on our way back. But now, we got some more chances of jellyfish. Ooh, nice, and we got it. Let's get you. All right, eh, we got one. That'll be enough for now. But sprint on over. Maybe conserve some stamina, because you, actually, no, I don't need to, because it's an energy gem. It'll refill us anyway. Oh, no, it won't, Never mind. it's not like a heart rupee. Also, uh, yeah, I'm getting damaged now. You can't see them, but there are Mimi Toads in here now. They spawn as soon as you get that energy gem. So, yeah, you can kill them if you want, or just do like I'm trying to of don't care, run away. Now let's get out of here and climb on back up. Swimming, swimming. Ah, just one. I was hoping for another jellyfish tentacle. Honestly, the get out of binds and stuns free is kind of really nice. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even need to put that spear there. I probably... Okay, no, I do need these spears. But I didn't... Most of the spears I didn't need to climb up here. Be wary of that dragon snare right there, by the way. As you head over this way to... Honestly, a very annoying moonstone. And you see, we've got a dragon snare here, which I am not messing with. There we go. Well, of course you shot that out right at the last second. Come on, give us stamina. Let's make it so it's eating that. Actually, that might be the last one it needs. Nope, one more hit. Now then, since these dragon snares are out of the way, we need this bug. Come on, jump down at me. Thank you. So, as you can... Really? Wrong way. Yes, there you go, there you go. As you can probably guess, we need to use this guy to push that, just like we used a scabber for in Anori Temple. To do this properly, though, you need to blast him over there, and then you need to get out of the way. If you're lucky, he will... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Yeah, you need to not... There we go. No. I'm back this way. Thank you. So, yeah. Uh, let him push it before you go close. Otherwise, he's... Right, right, I need a new one, because that one was too damaged. Yeah, you only really get one shot at this. But, here we go. This one's starting in the correct direction. Come on over. No, 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 stop it! So yeah, when they roll, it's kind. it seems kind of random as to what direction they're going to face. And they roll for a long time. This is one of the reasons why I say this is one of the more annoying ones. There is a cheap way to get it if you're good with the slingshot, but I am not good with the slingshot. And hey, we now get to see what's going to happen if he goes the worst way. He now is going all around that thing and pushes it over, but I don't think he's going to push it over again. Oh, nope, nope, he did. Nice. All right, we got that annoying moonstone and we can escape now. Also, be careful. You do not want anything to do with the uh, snares there. Also, out right over here. You don't really get to see it. 
but there's a uh, hidden area with, again, some more Rin. It's only 25, but again, Rin is Rin. If you don't have all the pockets yet, uh, you still want it. I ended up buying all the pockets, thankfully, so we are heading on out of here. And by out of here, I mean we actually have two more stops to make before we actually leave. The first is up here. Because this is a maze! If you look, some of these guys are actually going through the wall. That's trying to tell you that there are fake walls. And it's also trying to tell you where said fake walls are. Such as right here. I need stamina. Thank you. And then right here. So yeah, if you don't know where to go, follow the bugs. They will help you out. They won't always show you the exact way, but they will at least help you find out where some of the hidden areas are, such as this last one that we need. And they will, of course, just run into you for four damage. But you know what? Damage doesn't matter when we get a heart rupee that increases our max HP. That's our third heart rupee, I think, this episode, which is kind of convenient. And then you can just sort of brute force your way out of here, with the exception of, remember, once you fall down here, go to the left. From there, it's just keep on moving towards the bottom, and you are home free. Run away from you, run away from you. Uh, there is also a thing down here that I'm going to show off. It's it's not really worth coming down here for. All it is is some more of those and a... You know what? I said I'll show it, so I'll show it. And a golem. So yeah, nothing in that, nothing in any of these. You might get a mushroom if you're lucky. No reason to come down here. However, there is another area similar to it that we do want to head down. And to get there, we need to run away from all of these things. I have made a mistake. So as you see, these yellow ones are relentless. Where are you coming from? There you are. Ah, oh, they're very relentless. Once they pause for a second, Take your opportunity to kill them as best you can. Over here, we have what I think is our last item for this trip. Push these crates down. Oh, that's a good spot for that crate. Okay, that's less good, but you know what? We make do with this. Head on up. And we need to use these tiny crates to get over there you may take some damage unfortunately it, it's it's possible to do this without it but it'll be hard however you get yourself a moonstone for your rewards so yeah mole caverns it's just chock full of jewelry and bugs why are there jewels and bugs i don't know but there are unfortunately I don't want that music. I want to get rid of this guy, cause. All right, I need spread shot, cause my aim is terrible. Ow, ow. Ugh. But yeah, if you watched the trailer on Steam or I think even Switch, that room we were just in probably looks familiar, because it is in the trailer for this game, which is a neat little touch. I don't need that mole shroom. All right. Well, with that. We throw excess spears, and we are out of the Mole Caverns. Next time, we're going to go ahead and explore what is truly past the Mole... The Scorchlands, not the Mole Wastes. Thank you all very much for watching, and take care.